that's problematic. Take a listen to what Ohio Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown uh, said about your race uh, just a few days ago. If Stacey Abrams doesn't win in Georgia, they stole it. It's clear. It's clear. And I would say, I say that publicly. So Sherrod Brown says the election was stolen. Do you agree that it was stolen? And do you think that Brian Kemp is not the legitimate governor-elect of Georgia? The law as it stands says that he received an adequate number of votes to become the governor of Georgia. And I acknowledge the law as it stands. I am a lawyer by training, and I am someone who's taken a constitutional oath to uphold the law. But we know sometimes the law does not do what it should, and that something being legal does not make it right. This is someone who has compromised our systems. He's compromised our democratic systems, and that is not appropriate. And therefore, my mission is going to be to make certain no one else has to face this conversation. Going forward, we are going to ensure that there are fair fights in the state of Georgia and that voter protection is more than a slogan, that it is actually a common cause that cuts across partisanship. Because as I said, there are Republicans who were harmed, Democrats who were harmed, independents who were harmed. And that is wrong in one of the original 13 colonies, one of the founding blocks of mm -hmm. our democracy. And I want Georgia to be better. Is he the legitimate governor-elect of Georgia? He is the person who won an adequate number of votes but that's to not, become the governor of Georgia. With, with all due respect, and I respect where you're coming from, and I respect the, the issues that you're raising, you're not answering the question. Do you think it I was... Am, I, no, do, I, I, what I'm he, not doing... You're not using the word legitimate. Is he the legitimate governor-elect of Georgia? He is the legal governor of Georgia. And, and here's the thing, Jake. I want to be very clear. Words have meaning. And I've spent my lifetime not only as an attorney but as a writer... And I'm very careful with the words I choose. And yes, when he takes the oath of office, he will be the legal governor of the state of Georgia. He is the legal victor. But what you are looking for me to say is that there was no compromise of our democracy and that there should be some political compromise in the language I use. And that's not right. What's not right is saying that something was done properly when it was not. I will never deny the legal, the legal permature that says that he is in this position. And I pray for his success. But will I say that this election was not tainted, was not a disinvestment and a disenfranchisement of thousands of voters? I will not say that. Well, just, just to be clear, I don't have an opinion on what you should say or should not say. I'm just trying to get, I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. Oh, I understand. Are, are you at all concerned that your words this morning and, and uh, in your speech Friday will undermine faith in the democratic process? Not at all, because... The words I use are very specific. We have had systematic disenfranchisement of voters. We have seen gross mismanagement of our elections. And we have seen an erosion of faith in our democracy and our state. Those are all true facts. But these are all solvable problems. And that's why I'm proud to be an American. It's why I'm proud to be a Georgian. And it's why I'm taking up Fair Fight Georgia. Because Faith is not enough. We have to have action married to that faith. And I don't believe that you cast aspersions or cause me to say anything. But what I am being clear about is that I'm choosing my words very carefully because words have meaning. And we have to have leaders who will actually speak truth and not engage in political compromise for ease. We have to have people who are going to fight to make sure our democracy works for everyone. Because there are Republicans who are going to win elections because of what we do. There are going to be independents who finally gain a foothold because of what we do. And that is what's right in a democracy. I want to just give you an opportunity.